Yo, what's going on everybody, welcome or welcome to another WWE News and Rumors Roundup. That is right, it is the weekend and it is that time of the week once again where I update you guys on all the latest news and rumors that occurred throughout the week. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Oh yeah, and of course, as promised, WWE 2K17 gameplay in the background. So why don't you do me a favor and enjoy. Alright, let's get right to it. The big news obviously is that Goldberg is returning. Goldberg. Goldberg. Berg. <laughs> so yes, Goldberg is returning to Monday Night Raw this upcoming Monday. The latest on this is that WWE put together the deal for Goldberg to return over the past few weeks and it was finalized just over one week ago. The plan is for Goldberg to do just one match but that could change depending on what kind of reaction the match will get with Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. Now this match hasn't even been confirmed yet but the rumors that I reported last week based on sources from JR did indicate that the match will be happening at Survivor Series. Reports are also indicating that Goldberg is being advertised for multiple shows heading into Survivor Series. So not just this upcoming Monday, he is also being advertised for October 31st and November 14th. So yeah boys, we are finally gonna get some Goldberg. It is certainly a reality. If possible, I wanna take a moment of silence and I just wanna thank somebody. I just wanna thank something and that is WWE2K17 for actually making this happen. Moving on, the reason the Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins Universal Championship match was put in Hell in a Cell is because WWE thought it would look lesser if it wasn't in the Hell in a Cell like the women's and the US title matches. Well WWE you're on the list because check this out Chris Jericho got screwed. Chris Jericho was dropped from plans for the match so it could be in a Hell in a Cell although he could still be involved in some way like a special guest referee. How dare you WWE screw my man Chris Jericho like that. You're on the list. So I'm pretty sure you heard but Mickey J James is also returning. Where's Trish Stratus is at? William Regal announced during this week NXT TV tapings that Mickey James will return to the company at TakeOver Toronto on November 19th during Survivor Series weekend. She will be facing NXT Women Champion Asuka. Honestly, very interesting matchup. And if there's something to say in regards to the NXT tapings, it is the fact that they always have few surprises during those tapings. So we always hear about it. And like I said on Twitter, NXT certainly knows how how to make up for the star that they lost in the WWE draft and please tell me why am I saying WWE if we know it's WWE. Staying on the topic of NXT TakeOver Toronto, the main event for that show will be Shinsuke Nakamura defending his NXT title against Samoa Joe. So we're gonna get Joe versus Shinsuke Nakamura too at TakeOver. And in some very unfortunate news, Hideo Atami was injured once again. So when it comes to the Dusty Rose Classic, TJP is gonna be substituting him. So we're gonna be getting TJP. TJP and Ibushi as a tag team in the Dusty Roll Classics. So as we know, John Cena is going to be taking a little bit of a break from WWE to film his TV show. Cena is expected to return for the upcoming Survivor Series and will most likely be featured in one of the SmackDown vs Raw matches, while AJ Styles continue his feud with Dean Ambrose. Cena is also scheduled to work at Madison Square Garden event at the end of December, which by that time he will obviously be back to the WWE. It is being reported that he will continue his quest to obtain the 16th WWE World Title victory. On the bright side, AJ Styles is still gonna be champion, right? By the way, Billy Corgan is suing TNA, but I'm pretty sure you heard that already. You remember that time about a week ago where I said that I probably won't talk about TNA anymore? Well, apparently I lied. Because now, this shit just got real. Oh yeah, apparently this is not even a rumor anymore. TNA is being sued by its own president, Billy Corgan, but he's not the only one suing TNA. The lawsuit are apparently due to the great one, Dixie Cat. Daughter. If this is the case, she seriously need to go. I mean, she had to go on 09. I think her departure is overdue. But anyways, I can't promise you I won't talk about TNA anymore. Come next week, there's a hearing or something, so I'll probably keep you guys updated. At the end of the day, I think Matt Hardy is right. He does need to delete TNA. Or maybe just Dixie. Because they got some amazing great talent over there that should not be losing jobs. Just because of all this politics and whatnot. In regards to CM Punk returning to the UFC for 
one of the fight, Dana White said the following. Probably not, but he wanted to try. I like the guy, I respect the guy, so do I. He wanted to fight in the UFC, he wanted to do it. He trained for two years and he did it. Well said, that's all it needs to be said, respect. But yeah guys, that's about it. Pretty long episode, huh? I'm guilty, there was a lot of news and I wasn't covering the news, I was mostly covering WWE 2K17. But I want you guys to know that no matter what, I will always be providing you guys with a huge update just like this one in regards to the news and rumors of WWE. So I'm gonna stop right here, drop a like if you guys found this informative, and if you do drop a like, I'm gonna do my outro. So drop a like and I'll do it. Hurry up, hurry up. You did it? Okay. And we on the road to 3,000 subscribers? We're pretty close by the way. Much to you. Dig it.